Oh my, no, the cup song. Oh, I know how to do this. Oh, it's the cup song. God, no. So many people are doing this cup music thing. I don't know why this has become so big. It's not even entertaining. Is that a McDonald's cup? They're really good. I got my ticket for the long way. I loved this move. Can I just say that throughout Pitch Perfect, her cleavage bothered me? Like, she's really good. And she's hot, so it makes it that much better. Even tomorrow, what do you say? I like how they're acting like it's such a big deal. I like how they harmonize together. I want to learn how to do this. I don't think I can multitask like that, though. They're so into it. I want a cup now. <laughs> So do you know what you just watched is called? Is there a specific name for it? The Cup Song. Cup Song! Which I feel like it has a real name that's not the Cup Song. I know like the Cup Game, but I don't know like the song. When I'm Gone by Lulu and the Lampshades. And how do you know about it? Because I see kids in my school trying to be like, no wait, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> nope, messed up, sorry, let me do it again. There's a girl who sits behind me in math who was doing it right after it came out. I kept seeing covers, people doing it, and then I realized it was from Pitch Perfect. I was really behind. Uh, how big is this right now? Uh, it's too big. Every girl is doing it. It's like the thing right now. It will go away eventually. It's pretty big, which makes me mad because it's my party trick, which makes it not a very good party trick. So Pitch Perfect with Anna Kendrick did the cup song. Why are these other girls doing the cup song? Because they have nice voices and they can. Because Anna Kendrick did it. Were they trying to copy her? I don't know why you showed me other people. I know because it might be like a viral craze right now. That's the only thing that I can think of. Well, the story here is the song that they're singing is actually a song from the 1930s. Oh, that's awesome. But the video of the two girls with the harmony that we showed you is actually the original cup song. Pitch Perfect stole it! Wait, 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 wait. I thought the original was the movie. That's messed up. Pitch Perfect's jocking people's styles. I don't know too much about Lulu and the Lampshades, but I know that they, like, started it. They probably have to pay the girls, right? If they want, like, the rights to it. Do you think it's okay that people think it's from Pitch Perfect and don't know the original? <laughs> Slap a ho! I don't think that's right. I hate when that happens. That happens way more than it should. I know one of those like lesser of the two evil things. Like, yeah, it's spreading and it's getting out there and that's cool, but you're not, nobody knows that you did it. So back to the cup song itself. What do you think of the actual song? I really like the song. I like it, honestly. It's really like, especially with the two girls in the video. It's a good song. It just got really old really fast. I think it's so cute and it's so like original. And I know that now all my friends are like, I play the cups. I'm like, oh, that's a cool like instrument to play. I just play the didgeridoo and the violin. And what about the idea of using cups in this repeating beat? Do you think that is cool? Do you think it's impressive? I do actually. It takes a lot of coordination. I think that's so creative. I want to know like how they thought of that. With practice, you can do something. So it's not impressive in any way. You're smacking a cup. I think that people overuse words like impressive and the word awesome, it means that something is literally awesome, like full of awe. Lewis Braille inventing Braille is awesome. That's an achievement. Being able to play with cups is not an achievement, but it's a fun, cool thing to do. Why do you think this has become such a big thing? That it's challenging and it so looks really cool when you can do it. Pitch Perfect blew it up. People get addicted to stupid stuff from movies. Because everyone can pretty much do it. It's like not that hard, you know? It's a short song, easy lyrics, easy vocals, and it's a cup. Like, it's really not that hard to find, a cup. Do you think it deserves to be so popular? I think it's cool. I mean, it's different. It's so crazy because there's nothing special and amazing about it. It's just a cup. I do theater, so I'm used to people being able to do, like, a huge tap number and sing at the same time. Philip Collins, good singer, and he's a drummer. No one's talking about him anymore. He should have been doing it with cups. Exactly, there. Smacking our cup. He would be flipping out if they were cups. Like, oh my god, he's doing it with cups, not drums. It's like we've never seen it before! So I have more information for you. Oh, goodness. The beat from the Cup song is also not original. What is this? 
this. More more curveballs. Let's do it. There's like a whole chain of copying going on. It is actually something called the cup game. The cup game. Like flip cup? Sounds vaguely familiar. Wait, yeah. Yeah, and the camp game was everyone was in a circle and they all do it together. So I'm gonna show you now some clips of television shows that showed kids playing the cup game. Full House. I love Full House! <laughs> yeah, they switch it over to the other person. Is that Zoom? Zoom? Oh my god, I remember that. Wait! I did this in Spanish club. Yeah, I recognize this. Yeah, I totally recognize that! My mind is like... But what do you think of the cup song videos now that you see that the game is where the tune even comes from? People jocking people's styles! Now I like it a little less because it's like not as original as I thought it was. Instead of making your own beat with a cup, you go and steal someone else's. I still think it's a cool thing to use it to make a song. So to recap the whole story, someone in the 1930s makes a song, separately there's a cup game that people play, two girls put them together into one song that gets covered by a bunch of people including Pitch Perfect. Overall, what are your thoughts now on the cup song? <sighs> Jeez, mind blown. I feel, I feel betrayed. I'm so sad, you guys. Actually, I think that the whole thing is awesome. I'm sure that the man who sang it, he had no idea that it was gonna end up being this thing that made all of this money and everyone was gonna be obsessed with it and everything. And so I think that's really cool how things can develop into other things over time. And finally, can you attempt the cup song? No. Oh, God. Oh, no, don't give me that cup. I'll throw the cup. Shoot, I'm trying to remember the beat. Ah! You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. When I'm gone, when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. Oh, you're gonna. Gone. Get this cup out of here! <laughs> Thanks for watching a cuptastic episode of Teens React. <laughs> Let us know which videos we should watch next in the comments below. To check out the deleted reactions, click on the box below. Thank you for watching Teens React. Make sure you hit subscribe. Bye! Don't do the freaking cup song! I'm gonna smack the cup again. Don't make me do No! I want the cup! <laughs>